914 the time. Welcome back, everybody. Here's a question for you. Are you overeating during the shutdown? Many of us are indulging in things like junk food and sweets and everything else we can, right, while we're all cooped up. While it may be tempting, though, to ease your anxiety with your favorite comfort foods, emotional eating can hurt you both physically and mentally. And so joining us now with some tips on how to manage stress eating is licensed mental health counselor Chantala boss -Dubay. Chantala, it is good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. So here's the thing. When we are stressed, some of us handle it different ways. Some undereat, some overeat. The fact that we're inside all the time, I think there's kind of a little bit of a different relationship, though, with food, right? Well, definitely. Well, it's easily accessible, so it's right there. So it's staring us in the face all day long, usually, if we're working from home. And also, if we are stressed, there is a need for glucose in our system, so our body uses that more quickly. So physically, we do get more hungry, and we crave things like sugar, salt, fatty things. So definitely, when we're under stress, we're going to eat more, usually. And so how do we know that we're under stress? What are some of the signs that we may be eating, not eating, or making certain food-based choices? choices based on whatever stress we may be feeling instead of what our bodies may actually need. Well, if we are eating more than we have in the past, such as we notice maybe a weight gain or weight loss, obviously we know that's a problem. Or if we realize that maybe we're feeling a little more sluggish or tired due to that. So we really need to be mindful of how often we're making trips to the fridge or how not often we are. And so if we kind of feel like maybe we are putting on a few pounds, really taking steps to watch that and be careful because it is definitely a trigger to overeat or even undereat during this time. Sometimes when people are stressed, they actually don't understand or feel the urge to eat. They are more focused on the stress or the anxiety. So often having to be mindful too of making sure their body gets the nutrients it needs during this time. You know, it's so interesting because I was talking to some of my friends and I'm like, have you noticed that our kids are eating more now than ever before and things that they normally wouldn't eat? Like my son asked me the other day to buy him Pop-Tarts. I don't think we've ever had a Pop-Tart in our house ever, ever in life. And so I guess the question is, this can affect kids as well. Their level of stress may manifest itself in different ways. They're not only really stressed, they're bored too. Right, right, and it's comfort food. So sugars are definitely comfort food, but then they also make us crash, and then we feel worse. So if we're bored or we're anxious or we're tired, when we eat that sugar, it's going to boost that glucose level, make us feel better for a short period, and then worse. So trying to talk to our kids about other ways that they can relieve that stress or deal with their boredom um, is really important, and helping them have conscious eating habits, whether it's keeping a journal or keeping track and just having more mindfulness full eating instead of sitting with a whole box of pop tarts in front of the television making sure you kind of portion that out a little bit all right some good advice and i guess the bottom line is just to support everybody to eat healthier and what we can say no to what we can say yes to but i think everything in moderation chantala boss always absolutely good you thank you, so you much too danielle for seeing you again sounds good all right the time right now is 9 17.